Hi everyone. I want to ask you a question today. What are you thinking? What is going on in your mind? What are the situations of life that you are going through that affect what goes on in your mind? You know, we're surrounded by so much media, social media. We're surrounded by so many images, voices, and all of these things, they just bombard our mind. And we start to think sometimes the craziest of thoughts. And it's our thinking that can open the door to so many issues and problems in life. It's our thinking that can somehow affect our relationships with people, our family, in the church, where we work. It's our thinking that can put us in a corner, separate us from other what, what's happening around us, isolate us, our thinking. Proverbs 23 says, For as you think in your heart, so is you. So you are. The way you think. And we need to be careful. Your mind is like a garden. You can have good seed, bad seed. Good seed will produce good fruit. Bad seed will produce bad fruit. You are in control of your mind. Nobody else. I can't affect your mind. Nobody can affect your mind. It's you. It's me. I need to take responsibility for my thinking. So often I can say, Lord, help me, help me, help me. But it's my mind. I can put my hand up. I can take it down. I can put the other one up. I can take it down. I can close my mouth. I can open it. Same with my mind. I need to be careful what I am thinking. And you know, if I allow my thoughts to take hold of me, I shut the door to so much that God wants to bring in my life. In Mark chapter 9, verse 23, Jesus was facing this, this, this man who needed a miracle. So he said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him believe, who can believe. This word belief is different to the word faith. This word believe is dealing with our, our ability to accept. That opens the door for faith. If I can't believe or can't accept that God can bring a miracle, there's no room for faith. But if I can accept that God can bring a miracle, faith will come. The miracle will come. That's why we are encouraged to fill our mind, our thoughts with good things. The promises of God. That's why you need to read your Bible. That's why you must be careful who you have friends and who you spend time with and what you see and what you hear. What goes into your mind will affect you. We need to feed our minds and build our minds with good things so that there's room for faith. When there's faith, there's miracles. God bless you.